Assalamu alaikum ninjas, welcome back. It's your tech ninja Muhammad. Ni hao, peace be upon you. Dobro doshli nazad. Full gaming review after the updates with the Redmi Note 8 to Snapdragon 665. So let's check it out, let's check it out. Asphalt 9. You're gonna have the buying links in the, in the description. Support my channel, shop online with my links. Mi 83. Redmi Note 8. Leno Z5S. These are all smartphones which I recommend under 200 bucks. Of course, we have to mention the Realme 5 Pro, which for me is the best buy under five, under 200 dollars. Realme 5 Pro for me is the best buy, ninjas. This game is not optimized for the Snapdragon 665, and you probably can notice that. Also, it's not even optimized for the Snapdragon 730G. And just, uh, oh my god, this is super fast. Real Racing 3 with the Redmi Note 8 after the updates. Wow, that is smooth. You can see by itself that this game is very optimized, while the Asphalt 9 it is not optimized. Well, I don't know what these game developers are doing whatsoever, Ninjas. This is how the game should be optimized. Check this out through 60 FPS here. Do I know how to break here? Okay, I got it, I got it. You just, uh, maybe you see that the vessels are thick. No, no, they are not thick. It's because I have a case, and case is from a black color. So that's why the vessels look a bit more thicker, but they are not. It's just that I'm having a case on. On the Redmi Note 8. Case is included in the box. Whoa! Oh my god! Two hundred eighty kil kilometers per hour. Three hundred. Three hundred, bro. Ah, oh, at least I didn't went there. Don't think that kilometers per hour. No, it's impossible. It's going three hundred, man. Come on, bro. Let's go next. We need to hurry. Come on, we need to hurry. Oh my god, through through 60 FPS here, check it out how smooth this is. Nice. Over here. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, 
It's buttery smoothie with the red needle cake. I'm okay. Get to the edge. Okay, we are playing a little bit Ark Survival Evolved. Let's check here the graphics details. Video on high. That's too much. So we're gonna go to medium and medium uh, resolution. This is a. Uh, it's not even, we can't even call this mid-range SOC. For now, for me, standard mid-range SOC is Snapdragon 710. Uh, it's almost 2020 Ninjas. Nice, not bad. Medium settings, medium graphics, not bad. Okay, let's go. Test 2020 on Redmi Note 8. Sending 665. Oh, what a miss. How can you miss this, bro? Oh my god. That was really bad. Ah, that is that is bad. Tackle. Goal! Ya Allah, ya Allah, goal celebration. Who is that? Messi. Okay, let's go next. Barcelona. Wait a minute, that's not messy, but what, what I'm saying, bro? Another goal, easy, easy peasy. Okay, Call of Duty, Redmi Note 8. So these are the graphics details, graphics quality high, frame rate maximum. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Redmi Note 8. Got me. Let's kill anybody? No. I think this is too heavy for the something at 665. Indeed, it is heavy. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the settings. Out the graphics, go to the graphics details medium. Oh, next time I... So it doesn't change into the game. Friendly, 
Cover me! Sweet. Let's go next. So we should, I don't know, the stage against 660 and 665, uh, can we call it right now for 2020 as a low end SOCs? Low end SOCs, uh, but at least the best of the low end world there. Because ninjas, you can buy a Lenovo and Realme smartphones with a Snapdragon 710 and under $200, those are uh, base models for the mid-range world. And after that, we're gonna go to, of course, Halo G90T with the Redmi Note 8 Pro, which is selling around the $220. Then we can go to the Snapdragon 730G, Realme X2 and Xiaomi Mi 9T, which are the true mid-range processors. And uh, kind of the entry level, entry power of the mid-range SSCs is the Snapdragon 710 for me, in my opinion. I might be wrong, but you can uh, obviously have your own opinion. Snapdragon 660, 665 are very close in the performance and they are already two or year old or so. More than two years, bro. More than two years. Okay, we are in the game and it runs really really good really smooth here this is 720p resolution with the balance mode enabled and extreme frame rate bro, I'm gonna take this one perfect So then just for the price tag, you can play smoothly PUBG on H, uh, on balance mode, which is again, this is a great news for the game lovers, uh, because for the price tag, still Snapdragon uh, 665, uh, well, basically all the Xiaomi smartphones right now around $200 are better than any other one. Uh, of course, we have to mention the Realme, which has, and Lenovo also have Snapdragon processors. But the rest of the smartphones, they have Helio P60 or Helio P70, and... Oh my god, I can see somebody there. And they can't beat uh, right now somebody on 665 in the performance for the PUBG. They can beat them in the multitasking. Oh, that's that's just a motorbike. My bad. What? Yep, that is smooth. Oh my god, through the... Whoa! That was, that was amazing jump, bro. Over the rock, bro. That's not, that was not even a jumping platform. It was just a rock. Whoa! <laughs> it's so smooth. 